The changes proposed in Bill C-37 are an important part of the government's multifaceted plan to address the growing opioid crisis in Canada. The bill would provide law enforcement agencies with the tools they need to take early action against suspected drug protection, production operations and to respond to the ever-changing illicit drug market. At the end of 2016, news of t over 10 overdose deaths in one night in British Columbia highlighted an already alarming and tragic situation and the opioid crisis has not gone away from the beginning of the new year. Instead, it gets worse as hard-working emergency responders and public health officials struggle to keep up with the increasing number of those afflicted. Unfortunately, I witnessed this challenge in my own riding of Cloverdale-Langley City, one of Canada's communities most affected by the opioid crisis. Sadly, my constituents are not alone in facing this issue. As we in this House study legislation from day to day, we must often ask ourselves, what will be the direct result of this legislation, this action? With Bill C-37, we have an opportunity to pass legislation that will directly save lives. There is currently tremendous work being done to combat this issue, such as the RCMP's Surrey Outreach Team, who have been effective in addressing addiction and homelessness issues in our local community. This task force responded to 55 overdoses in just two weeks and have continued saving lives in the city of Surrey. While the individual efforts of police detachments and public health officials has resulted in positive results at the local level, these frontline responders need federal assistance and a national framework to tackle the issue. The sooner Bill C-37 becomes law in Canada, the sooner it can help those most affected by this ongoing public emer health emergency. I trust that all members of this House understand the importance of this bill and hope that they will support it. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to close with a comment uh, relating to uh, an earlier speaker who talked about needing to take a family approach to this crisis. And I'd like to uh, remind all members that we've seen 900 deaths in BC in the last year. Those are 900 families who are affected by this tragic opioid crisis. It is only by working together across all parties uh, that we will actually be able to make Canadians safe, that we'll be able to focus on families, give them a, a safe and healthy uh, upbringing, and be able to deal with those who are facing crises in their lives. So thank you very much, Mr. Speaker.